and welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie and tonight Michael will be joining me as we play a couple of board games we have lined up. Icono Clash, which is Castle Clash, and we have Mini Meeple Melee. So a couple of games here to show off and play tonight. And we got a bunch of games in this week that we'd like to share before we get into the gameplay, including a whole bunch of games from Blue Orange, which is awesome. And happy Easter, everyone. I hope you enjoyed a, a day, fun day with your family if you celebrate Easter and all of that. And Dante decided he's got to be part of the stream and the family today, so <laughs> we're going to have him on here. But tonight we'll be playing the game Icono Clash, Castle, Castle Clash. Uh, this is a also two to four player game. This is a platform game in which you're gonna be playing it's similar yeah, to like, like a smash game brothers as a board game yeah it's yeah. like smash brothers meets a board game we um, have our fighter and we're have a map where we're just duking it out battling i want to show you guys for those of you who are new to the stream we're going to go ahead and take it top down so you guys can see the full top down view of the board and how it plays and you'll still see us in the corner as well and the comments will pop up so you can see that as well um, and we're going to be playing the game in which we reduce our HP total to zero. Whoever does that first is the winner. Uh, yes. This game is currently on Kickstarter, and it plays ages 12 and up, and it usually takes about a half an hour to play. It's a pretty quick style game. All right, here's the top-down view of Iconoclash. Castle Clash, which is two to four players, takes 30 minutes to play for ages 12 and up. And then here in the center, we have the main map, which will be duking it out and fighting. And you'll notice, like, other platform battle game there's these platforms where we'll be fighting and there's also spaces where we can get knocked off of the map so that's very very important in this game it's also double-sided oh you can kind of get a preview of the um the other side that we're, we won't be playing and i'm going to flip it back over sorry and um there then we each have a character uh, which we're going to be fighting with have a unique special abilities and all of that uh, and our character little I icon here our board which kind of explains the background of our character as well as sort of some of the general um, what kind of different abilities do we have what are our strengths and weaknesses as well as a deck and a starter card and then there will be, this is a prototype version, there will be some, the cards that show, the dials that show your health. And right now we'll be using dice to show our health in the meantime. A bunch of icons and a deck for the board as well because different things will be happening in the environment. If you've ever played any other kind of platformer or fighting games, you'll know things could pop up like items, um, certain different... Uh, Areas could be either bad or do good things for us. We want to avoid or go to those areas. And of course, different abilities that will drop or knock us over as well. There's four different characters in this uh, prototype version that we have, and we'll be playing two of them. Yep. And yeah, the voices in my head. Uh, I specifically requested that one. That one is actually mm -hmm. by Unexpected Games. It's not a Blue Orange. Blue Orange sent us a bunch of stuff because we're going to be doing some work with them. But uh, we will be doing a review for that Voices in My Head game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting because you're, you're a person in, the, in a courtroom um, and you're kind of one of the people in that guy's head as the court case goes on. So it's not really a courtroom case. It's not really a... It's not really like psychological game. It's kind of like somewhere in between there. So I'm going to go ahead and find Twitter. Tw not Twitter. Twitter. I'm going to go find Twitch here and uh, find the comments uh, so that way I can keep oh, tracking. Oh, okay. Shield got... Fine, mine was not showing. So, yeah, thanks, Max. The table is really nice. It'll be fun. To, I know you guys fun to play missed games out to here. see it. <laughs> Max, was, yeah. Max, and uh, Caleb are, are, are players yeah. usually as well, but <laughs> they they took the night off. All right, unfiltered games. Oh, there's live. Nice. I just type in. That makes life really easy for me here. Yeah. Now, if only I, oh, I do see the chat. Okay. Hopefully, if I see chat on there, I can comment yeah it won't it won't show until it, yeah, until there. somebody's yeah. also I can, yeah. okay well i think you don't get work. the history on that'll Twitch. work for now it's it's far enough away where i don't think anybody can see it on the top down 
Um, and also, this is a prototype for those of you who are like, why is the board uh, exploded in half? <laughs> um, that's because when we tried to set it up just now, it exploded in half. Yeah. And that's because the game is a full prototype. All these pieces are prototypes. Yeah. And so and it will the, be higher quality, obviously. Health counters aren't They will be little yet. dice. Yeah. Everything's going to be a full cleaned game. <laughs> uh, the SMG does great stuff. I've worked with them before. I've reviewed some of their games before and all their stuff is really excellent. Strange Machine Games. Yeah, Strange Machine Games, SMG. Okay, let's go ahead and begin Icono Clash, Castle Clash. I'm going to be playing as the Conquistador and this is my character here. Um, I always have the card Grabby Hands. This is a card I can always utilize and on my turn I'll be playing up to two cards and doing two actions and attempting to explode your HP down to zero. I start with 25. You start with 25? I start with 25 as well. I am Lilac Everdon, and I'm a very mobile and flexible character. I start with the solar blade in my hand, always. So, so at the beginning of the game, we're actually going to start just like a game of Smash Brothers and other games. Uh, there's certain spawn points in on the map. And I see one, two, three, four different ones. Yes. And the card over here explains uh, what all the different iconography for each map is. Yeah, so we have the spawn flags, which are these guys. Mm -hmm. Then we also have soft platforms, which are ones that you can have your character fall through, through and go up. Oops. <laughs> Yep, and you go up. Can't attack through them. And then I have the we have the thick the impassable blocks like here. You can't pass through these guys here. They're too thick. Uh, mm -hmm. You cannot shoot through any of the blocks or platforms. So if I'm over here, I can't shoot there. You can't shoot yep. up or down or, either. Or yep. And the only way you can shoot is by in a straight line. You can go all diagonal. You can go straight across. Mm -hmm. um, but for movement, you have to go up, down, left, right. So up, down, left, right movement. And oh, for shooting, um, it goes in a straight no, line. No, diagonal movement is allowed. Oh, oh it's yeah. It's only for attacking, it's only, melee, okay, up, but, down, left, but right. But I can, I can attack like this, right? Uh, if you have range. Right, right, yeah. if I have a range. Otherwise, if I melee, I can only attack in these directions yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so to set up, we are going to start with our basic card. And then we're also going to get... Six cards One, two, from three, our four, deck. five, six. Okay. Seven cards total, and our max hand size is, I believe, eight? Correct. Okay. And each of our characters do something different, function in a different way. I think that was, uh, that's Jason over there, if, if yes. I'm correct. How you doing, Jason? Good day, good day. Happy hello, Easter. Hello, Hello. Yeah, happy Easter, happy Easter. <laughs> All right, so I've got my character. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and spawn first. Now, you got to be careful in this game, too, because you can get exploded off the screen, and that's not super great. Um, and so I think take some damage I'm going to go ahead and place my guy here. I think that's the safest spot. Oh, okay. It might be, but I don't know, because there's certain things that will happen on the okay, map, so too. So you're going to go me. first, then? Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I guess I okay, can. Okay, okay. So I'm going to spawn oh, over here, I guess. Nice, yeah. nice, in the good top area. It makes it <laughs> easy for me to shoot you off the top of no. the map. So <laughs> my character, I should explain kind of what my character does. So, like so I have a strong ability. attack character. It doesn't have a whole lot of defense. It does not have any range. It's just going to be up, down, left, right. Um, but... But, 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 what happens is there's going to be items that are going to drop onto the board here in certain ways, whether it be from my character himself or from different events. Mm -hmm. And I'll pick those up and they'll give me items from this item deck. And basically I'm going to use those with my cards to become stronger. I won't actually play the items like she might. Yeah, um, like using them But I'm going to sacrifice ability. them to give me value. And that's kind of what my guy does. Yeah. Mine is kind of a overall um, jack of all, Jill of all trades type character. So she has really pretty good attack and defense, and she's super mobile and flexible. And um, she, she she has a good amount of shields as well as attack, which is nice. A Jill of all trades. Yep, Did you yep. know they're making cracker Jills now? I. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they are. They're making Cracker Jills. So you have Cracker Jacks and Cracker Jills now. So you have Jack of all trade and Jill of all trade. Apparently and Jill I'm, is the oh, opposite. Yeah, and I'm a melee fighter for the most part. So I'll be trying to get we both range are. and then attack. Yeah, we both are. Yep. Okay. So all you're right. going to go first. So I get to start with a power token, which yep. will allow me to use some special... <laughs> he's gonna be extra, grumbling in the corner there. Extra abilities on some cards. You can't see him, but he's there, my good puppy. <laughs> until my until our our uh, relatives get here and help us with yeah. a, with an oven. And um, yeah, that's it. We'll be on on your turn. You'll get two boot tokens, which will allow you to do so movement. I'll start. Yep. So I'm gonna get two boot, and I'm also gonna have to draw one of these cards yes, here. Everyone on when the I turn draw this draw. card, I flip it up, 
and then we're gonna check and see what it does. It says everything drops, so if there's anything that is not on a platform, okay. it would fall. Boom, right. Explode. But in this case, and be careful with sliding just because the, the board's a little, you know, not glued together very well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the, if anything was uh, going to drop, it would drop. So gravity only affects when, only takes place when these mm -hmm. cards tell it to. And also we're gonna place two items out in the exact locations that are indicated on the card here. So we have one space here and one space just below the flag. So it'll go oh. there and it'll go there, which is kind of nice because I like item cards quite a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend my, my boots if I want. I can save them if I want as well, use for later. Yep. I'm gonna spend one. So now we're one. in the action phase and Michael doing his movement and his action card. So this, this this item card. Now I can't get it if it's already on me when I start my turn. Correct. Well I can't, I have to go back and forth to get it. But yeah. because I was one space once, away. Once you move into the space with the item, you get to remove that token and draw an item card. So I drew a card, I got a Berserker shield, don't tell her. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. Now uh, I still have two actions, which are basically playing two cards, and I also have an extra boot. Now I can use these cards if I want to not use their abilities, but instead on the bottom left I can get boosts, which give me bonus movement. Yes, right? bonus. Do they give boost. me actual boots? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think I, I'll do that. Hmm. I think I will move one more space. And I'll move my character up to hers. I need to be adjacent because my character is a melee. And then I'm going to play some cards. So I'm going to go ahead and play a card called Gold Fever. So when you play these cards, you're going to have, you know, probably a little hard to see, but there's an attack value there. There's a knockback value. And then there's three abilities. Now, if it tells you to do it before the attack, you do it before the attack. Mm -hmm. If it tells you to do it after, you do it after. Otherwise, it just happens during or it doesn't matter. Or simultaneous. And there's three yeah. different abilities. We're not going to discuss every three, all three mm -hmm. every time. But we will explain what we're choosing. But I will, for the sake of clarity, this time explain it. So and the some of them require Exactly. The so the first one says, before attacking, I can discard an item card to do additional damage equal to the discarded card, uh, the discarded card or cards. Um, but I don't want to do that one. Another one is before attacking, I can discard a non-basic card to draw an item. And a non-basic is literally just any card that doesn't have a B in the bottom left. Now, the basic card is the one you start with and you will always get back, which is why you can't discard it. And then the final one is before attacking, as long as I spend a power token, I can take one item at random from um, the target's hand. And if they have none, draw an I uh, then I can draw an item. And they must discard one random non-basic card from their hand. Mm -hmm. Which is a little bit more powerful. But I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of a card that I don't necessarily need. And whew, these are all so useful right now. I guess I have multiples. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get rid of this one in. Treats, Swag, and Loot. So I'll just discard this card, and it lets me get an item card. And it's also going to do two damage to you now. Okay, so I'm going to go down from 25 to, to 23. 23. Yes, and so there's no knockback. If I you have, have a shield, you can play a shield. And whenever okay. I attack her, she can play a shield card. Uh, yes, I will play the Seraphim shield after attacking. I'll use the first ability, so I just choose one. After attacking, the attacker takes one damage. So, Ouch, so yeah. I'll just straight up take a damage. Okay, and I can play one more card. Now I have two item cards in hand. You can see that. Uh, so I can play a card if I want to try and utilize more of these items, or I can save it for a big attack. And I think I should save it for a big attack. Uh... You could also get some movement and go pick up other items. One, I'm too far sure away. <laughs> I'm too far away. One, one, two, three, four, five. Now you can one, go through the. Problem. Oh, that's true. I can go one, two, three, huh? Yeah. You don't want me to do that. Why no. Because <laughs> I want an item. I to keep you from getting items. That's your strength is using that item. I'm going to play my Treats Swag and Loot card now. So this one's going to do one damage, and it's going to knock you back in one direction. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do the middle one. It says, if you drew at least one item card this turn, I get to gain one of these powers. Mm -hmm. And I get to do an additional two damage. So I'll be doing three damage, and I'll do one knockback. Is there any shield cards you want to play? Um, no. So, so you just take three damage. You're yep. 20 now. I'm at 20. And I got my power, and I'm going to knock you. And I can knock you back in any direction. I think I'll knock you. Ooh, if I knock you here, when you fall, what happens? So I will take damage, but so will you, because you're 
in the way there. I think I'll knock you up like that. Can I do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That was my well, bam uppercut. <laughs> how you like how you like them apples? And All right, so these get discarded, yeah. and they're not and they're not. There's no basics in there, so I don't get to take them back. And I draw two cards. Correct. You draw two cards, and then you check and make sure that you don't, I don't have, have a hand more than eight. eight, not including your basic card. So I got four, and I got four, which is eight. All right. All right, you Are can you go good? ahead and go. I'm gonna get a drink because my, my voice doesn't explode. Oh. No, I'm thinking my, okay. I got my, I got my tea. I know, water. Okay. Don't worry, my, my, car, my character doesn't have a whole lot of shields. Right. Well, it's got a couple. <laughs> Go ahead. For my turn, I'm going to get two boot tokens, which will be my movement. And then I'm going to flip over the next environment card to see what happens. So, no, everything drops. That was the plan. <laughs> Okay, I have to make sure uh, I take one damage or two. I'm not sure. Do you remember? Uh, Launching. I don't. I think it's two, but I don't remember. Or it's one. And, uh, two is a, two is knockout. One is just on the ground. I think. I don't know. Drop. Okay. Land off a platform. Oh, okay. You only take damage if you're gonna um, land on someone, or if you get edged off, you take two damage. Oh, so you don't take damage when you fall to a just to the platform? No. If two or more fighters would end up on the same space due to drop, the fighter closest to the platform takes one damage and launches each other fighter, dropping on top of them one space. Those fighters also take one damage. So if I put you here. We would both take a damage. Yes. And what would happen? Uh, so I would go down here, and you would be. I would launch you in one direction. Oh, of your choice. Mm-hmm. I see. So you didn't want to put me up there. So instead, I just go here, and then we're also going to get some more uh, treasure chests, some item cards. All right. I see. Okay. And this goes over here. You made me do a different plan then. I, I thought I was going to take damage. I didn't know how that worked at all. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, since you're conveniently located there, I'll go ahead and play Pierce and attack you. And it starts at zero and zero, but I'm going to choose the first one, which will be plus two damage. And the target may not play shield against this attack. So it was a straight two damage. No shield. What do you mean no shield? I can't... You can't play shields against this attack. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. My guy doesn't really do anything with it. He can't hurt yeah. you with my shields, though. So you'll go to 22. Beep. You might as well do another card yeah. before you leave anyway. Yep. I figure. Right. And then I'll do uh, my solar blade, which is my basic attack. And this is going to allow me to, um, to draw. draw two cards or get two boots. Oh, wow. So I'm going to get two boots. Now, before you do that, I get to play a, a card. Maybe uh, I can yeah, prevent this you. Is kinda, this is may move before attacking, so it kind of happens. Mm, well... Yeah. I mean, I have something like this. It's called shiny yeah, shield. Sh I have shiny shield. It says I can ignore all non-damaging effects of an attack targeting Conquistador. And after the attack resolves, I can teleport to any item token and collect it. Ah, uh, okay. So these aren't targeting you. So no, you're correct. It. So you yeah. can go ahead and get your boots or your card. I'm just saying that there might be a card that could prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to do one damage to me, right? Yes. And then after you hit me, I can go anywhere on the board... And take an item, which might have been the item you wanted, huh? Well, there's two over there, so I know that's why you go in there. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I could, I, I, uh, don't know, I just picked a random item. Uh -huh. No particular reason whatsoever. And I feel like I'm going to be vulnerable if I go there because you could knock me off. Oh, I, I didn't even I think like about that. that. I didn't think yes, about you that. Did. No. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're okay. talking about. I'm going to use three boots. One, two, three, and it's going to go over to this side. 
I'll be a little farther away from you, and I'll take an item card, please. No items for you. Yes. Okay, just one. Just one. You're at 14? Oh, nice. What? No. I'm That's at 20. Oh, well, it should to okay, 14. Okay. I didn't change it. Yeah. That's on okay. you. At the end of my turn, I'll take back my basic card that's always in my hand. Draw two. Oh, and you played your basic card then? Yes. What was your basic card? The one that gave you boots? Uh, yes. Oh, dang. That's a uh -huh. nice basic only, card. It's only one attack is why it's basic, I think. Yeah. And then I have seven cards. We're good. And your turn. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that happens, I'm going to get my two boots. Yes. You got a comment there? No. Oh, okay. Flip over this. Uh, crate's mm -hmm. gonna drop. Right there. Yeah. Uh, and everything drops. Nothing happened. Okay. Right. So I need to. Okay, I gotta separate my items here. I got three of them. Hmm. I know, don't do that. I know. <laughs> so upset. All right, so I'm gonna. I can get rid of this, right? And this is gonna give me three. I, it's a little. You can't see here on the bottom is a three, which gives me three more boots, correct? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. That's five boots. And I am gonna spend one of those boots to move over here and get this item for no particular reason whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go and turn around, and I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to spend three more boots to pick up, oh. And four. Four. Oof. <laughs> Glad I made it. Pick up ah. another item card. Okay, now I can only play one more card, though. Yeah. I have a ton of cards in my hand. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and play Otter Destruction. It's a pretty powerful card. And what it says is... Uh, before attacking, uh, I place the item token. Uh, place an, one item token randomly in play and do three knockback. I don't want to do that. Or if I drew an item card this turn, I can do plus three damage. Or I can get rid of a power token. If I drew an item token, it gets plus four. And if I drew two item tokens, it gets plus six damage. No, so I'm going to do that's six plus one, which is seven damage on this turn here. Okay. I'm. Um. I hope the final game either has bigger board or smaller, or a little bit smaller pieces. I don't like it when pieces don't fit in a space. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to see what they're gonna do. Uh, most of the pieces, uh, from what I gathered, fit pretty yeah. well. I mean, this I have a prototype. Yeah, this so is a prototype. Could, I don't. I'm not gonna it. show one way or the other. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not certain what they're going to do. Uh, but it would not surprise me if they did. I can say for a certain that this board is a prototype and most likely will be bigger. Uh, will it be the same size and shape? I have no clue. I don't know. You have to ask them. I think the Kickstarter's up right now, so it's a good okay. question. Okay, I'm going to play Shield, which... Um, and, uh, Prevent no damage and take the seven. No. That's what she needs to do. My okay. T here. I Might, this look like, looks like Jack, huh? Discard. I can discard again. Uh, Of course, I think I'm going to win, Max. I always think I'm going to win, but okay, then I lose. So discard two cards and block damage equal to the lowest boost number of the discard. Wow! Card. So three. So how much? You did six. Seven. Seven. Six plus okay. uh, one. So I'll be at sixteen. Okay, I have to draw. So I have I have to draw two cards, right? Yes. And I have to discard down to eight? Mm -hmm. Even with my items, huh? Yes. One, two, items, three, yeah. so four, only your, um, five items. I only items. get three cards to keep. I get a total of eight plus my basic, which is nine, or I get a total of eight in general? Uh, eight plus your basic. Okay, okay. So I've got five, five of these, so I can only keep three. I have to get rid of one. Okay, I guess I'll get rid of this guy. Shiny Saber. All right, so I've got my five items and my three cards. I'm done. All right. Pickle. Hello, Pickle. How you doing? Thanks for joining again. Let me nice get to see you. Two boots to start my turn. You guys uh, voting on the winner here? Who do you think is going to win? win? Callie, of course. Not this time. New Not this time. Card. This time it's all me. Okay, what do we got? Everything drops, and then we're going to put an item right up here. All right. 
just the now if you want knock. you could you could you knock me this way if i get you, at least two knock yes because you can't you can't knock me on you the same can't space. land on the same space ever okay so but you can move through other characters you right, just have right. to have enough movement or enough knockback to do that oh, i have i have item cards that are also shields yeah yeah Ooh. i have item cards that's, um an attack that's a shield as well which uh, do I? I'm gonna need you to not play any of those. <laughs> These item cards are kind of scary. Yeah. I'm going to play. No, I'm gonna do this one. And these, by the way, as she's playing, these uh, cards, these event cards, are not just dropping items and making the board drop. There are some unique things that will happen on the board that are unique to this board specifically, like locations that are gonna be easier or harder for us as we move around, which I'll show you when they pop up. I'm going to do the Seraph Pendant, which your fighter's next attack deals plus two damage and plus one um, Knockback. launch. Yeah. Okay. Or launch, yes. So right now that's that's that's, a, that's an action, though. Yes, that's okay. one action. All right. And for my second one, I'm going to do the Dawn Guard and return up to two shields from my discard to my hand. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh-huh. And okay. it's a one one, so now it's a three two. So you want to knock me here or back this way? Oh, we're going this way. Wow. <laughs> and I'm going to take three damage? Correct. 20. Uh, you might have be 19, able to play 18. a shield, though. Um, I, I can. Do you have any items in your hand? I do not. I used my item. You have no items at all? No items at all. You stole all the items. <laughs> all but one. Okay, so what I'll do then is I'm going to ignore... I'm going to play my shiny shield. I'm going to ignore all non-damaging effects that would affect me. So I'm not going to take that knockback. That's it's a non-damaging so effect, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Launching is an effect that is not a damage. Okay. And it's targeting me. Okay. Don't worry, though. Even if there was a dilemma in that, uh, what's going to happen is after the attack resolves, I'm going to teleport to any item. No. In the space. That's not fair. I was going to go move and get there after <laughs> this. Oh, no. It's okay. Don't worry. I've got a few item cards. Not, uh -huh. nothing, nothing to worry about. Um, and if you, have, if you guys haven't noticed, my character is all about gathering items. The otter loves her items. Yeah. Or his items. I'm yep. not really sure. Conquistador. Her. Wait, wait. No, her Majesty's Royal Conquistador. Ah, um, Conquistador. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna just use two boots here at the end of my turn to ah, okay. it is, move it's a male. more into the center here so I don't get uh, launched off of the platform. And then I'll draw two cards. Yep. I mean, it definitely does and feel like a no platformer. It does yeah. definitely feels like a Brawlhalla or a Smash Brothers style mm -hmm. uh, board game. And with four players, even more routiness happens. Yeah. Discard yeah. the card. Great. Um, and then it's my turn now? Yes. All right, let's go ahead and get my two boots. Let's go ahead and flip over one of these event cards and see if something unique happens here. Um, everything drops, nothing to worry about, and we place an item as indicated. Nice, right there. <sighs> you get too many item cards. So there are other <laughs> other environment cards in the deck. We'll see them, hopefully. Maybe we didn't shuffle them well enough, no, I'm not sure. Or this one, because we played the other map before, which had, maybe that one just had more stuff going on. I can attack, de if I'm here, I can attack yeah. uh, you down yeah. below that way, huh? Uh-huh. All right, so we're going to spend my two boots here. we will go one and two. You can just go down. Oh, yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. <gasps> hmm. One. <laughs> thank you for reminding me. <laughs> and two, I'll go right here. Okay. I forgot I can drop down. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So I can, I'm going to go ahead and do one damage to you with my my cute little grabby paws and I can discard an item to gain three power. Are you doing two? To gain three power. I'm doing one damage. Oh, oh you gain power tokens. I mean okay. three power tokens. Just oh for I discard an item. I discard an item card though. Yeah. All right, I'll do my shield and which take a damage, after attacking the attacker takes one damage. So we will take one. Yes. Oh, that was not so fruitful on my end. Got a lot of power tokens. Here you go. That's my basic, so we'll come back to uh, me at the, yeah. end. at the end of the turn, though. I don't get it to play it again, do I? Mm -hmm. Nope. At the end of your turn. All right. Um, right. I'll go ahead and play... 
treasure trove. It's going to cost me a power to use the ability I want to use, but it says that I get plus one damage for every item in my hand, and it's a knockback of one. And I happen to have, oh, I don't know, five items, so it'll do six damage and a knockback. Okay, I'm going to use my... Ooh, it's a tough one. Just, just take the six <laughs> and a little knockback. No, that's not going to hurt anything. I mean, here's some good things about this. Mike from OSCS played it and was hooked. Yeah, uh, this is a cool game. It okay. Definitely definitely more players equals more fun, but uh, I like it. Even the even the back and forth nature feels uh, tactical. Yeah, so I'm going to play my Dawn Guard. Even though it's an attack guard, down here it has a shield oh. option, which I'm going to use my power to Block to two use. damage and all non-damaging effects yes. of an attack. So yeah, you won't get the knockback. And I'll just take four damage four instead of six, which is a lot better. Okay, so I'm at 11, and you're at 17. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to draw two cards, and I'll have to get rid of a card. Actually, I won't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because one of them is my basic card. All right. I am done. Mm -hmm. okay. OSCS. Uh, that's abbreviations for something. Tell me, go, give me the full abbreviation so I know what that's for. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll, I can give them a follow. All right, do you want to... Okay, to... I'm going to do my turn to Boots. Yep. Let me flip over the event. Yes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Everything drops and an item's going to fall on me. Top of you. Which I... is exactly where I want to be. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I pretty much, I can't get that item. No, you can. You can I knock me back one. Through you. You can knock me back and then walk in that space. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I told her a little secret. <laughs> All right, don't worry. She's not going to do that. I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't have a lot of cards right now because I had to shield myself so much. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How are you guys liking this table? Do you like the rustic mm. look of it? We really like it. Okay. I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use my solar blade, and I'll use... Does that happen to also have a knockback on it? Oh, it does! Before attacking, take two damage. I'm going to take two damage. But I'll deal uh, plus one damage, plus one knockback, and get a power token. And what's the total so damage? Two damage and one uh, launch. So I'm going to go to 16. 15. 17 minus... Two? Oh, yes. two. Okay. Fifteen. She wants that extra point. <laughs> yeah, know. very important. This is a close game. It ain't close. It's going to be close. It ain't going to be close. All right. Gonna um, be... and I'm going to go ahead and play my defensive card called uh, Shiny Shield. After the attack, ignore all non-damaging effects on an attack targeting Conquistador. After the attack resolves, teleport to any item token and collect no. it. What? That's so awful. You get to do that every time. So I'm going to give you that item, Sam. Nice. Uh -huh. You're so nice. Yeah. So... Uh, am I not a kind and generous god? That's uh, from, what is it called? The 100? No. The one? The 100? No, that sounds wrong. Okay. What's that movie with all the Spartan warriors? 300. 300? Yes. Yeah, it sounds more. Yeah, you need 300. Okay. 100 is not enough. So you can use, do your movement before, in between cards, or after your cards. So I'm going to spend two boots now okay. so I can move one to pick up the item Yep. and two to go up here. And I'll get an item card, please. Uh-huh. Hopefully uh -huh. you can help me. Uh-huh. I don't think so. Nothing's going to help you at this point. Uh, yeah, I like this one. This Why are you at three two. health? I'm not. You keep moving I'm at it. 11. Sorry, no, I'm you're not over. at 11. You're at 9. Okay, 9, yeah. I took she's, she's trying to gain. I took, no, she's... I took 2 when I attacked you. Okay. Gain in health, lose in health. You put it up That's this way. That makes it easier for them to see. I don't know. I probably can't even see those dice. It's too small. But I'm at 15. She's at 9. I'm going to have to use this because you will otherwise. Teleport to the next yes. area. Don't worry about it. Uh. What's Caleb yeah. saying? What are you I'll saying? Do... The hundred is the TV show. Ah, yeah, the the one hundred. I know that was a, that's a good show okay. up until the last season. 
Warp Staff is going to do three damage and nothing else because I don't need range. This is going to do three oh, damage. Oh, wait, no, three damage. And after attacking, teleport to any respawn. Um, yeah, I'll just take three. Go to 12. All right. Oh, this is an item, so it actually Yeah, goes it goes to the there. discard. Sorry, I have another one in my deck here. And teleport to a respawn? Yes. She wants to get her item cards back. No, I want to. You go too far, you don't be able to hit me anymore. You have to come hit me, then. Okay. And then I'll return my basic card and draw two. And I have six cards, so I'm good. All right. One, two for me. Your turn. Hopefully some more items come my way, I guess. No. Place an item. Oh, it's right above you, actually. Okay. That's interesting. Because the items can drop. They can drop, yeah. When when it, it, Everything drops when it says things drop. But this, this one doesn't say things drop, though. It just says item is placed. Wow, there's going to be a lot of event, like, special locations at the end here. Um, so, I see what you did here. How much life are you at? Nine? Yes. You have to spend all your boots to attack me. I'm going to want. discard a card that's going to give me a plus three bonus to movement. Mm-hmm. That's one of your two cards. Uh, yep. So I'm going to move one, two, three, four here. Or four movement. One, two, three, and four. I just need that item really quick here. No big deal. Uh-huh. All right, and I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play Onward to Victory. So that is a one damage card. But it says before attacking, I can discard any number of item cards from my hand. And I do it two damage for each one I discard. Two damage. And I'm going to discard seven. So that's 15 damage. Okay. This is my go broke. Like, go all the way. Ooh. Hit or whiff. So it's... It's 1 plus 2, 4, mm -hmm. 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. But I lose all my cards. I'm literally down to one card in my Wait, hand. Wait, 14? 15. 15? 14. 14 yeah, it's damage. 7 cards times 2. Because I'm discarding 7 items. Yeah. And it's a plus 1. I also have to lose a power token to do that as well. I can only block damage equal to the lowest boost of the discarded cards. And I can only block 3 that's as much as I can do. So you can block the, these two plus the one there, which means you're going to take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 damage. That's it. I can't do it. And you have 9? Yeah. It's bloated! Oh, but I am rude. down to one card left. Yeah, but left. that doesn't matter because you won. <laughs> that was the goal, is to win. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the live stream. <laughs> and the fireworks. Yeah, and the fireworks going on in the neighborhood for Easter. <laughs> Easter fireworks. It's I don't, a thing, I don't know how that makes sense, but all right. We're playing Meeple Melee, Mini Meeple Melee. Yes. <laughs> and my, we're going to start here as soon as Michael's ready yep, to sit down. Game. Okay. Uh, well, you can't see it yet, but we'll have the top down view where you can see um, it's a melee fighting game. So. We've already each chosen a character to play as. We'll have special abilities. I am the green archer, of course. Awesome to be perfect. Makes sense to be green. Mike will be the blue knight. Uh, to begin the game, what we're going to do is we're going to set the board up. So you'll take these guys here, and we'll shuffle, shuffle them up. Shuffle, There's shuffle. four of these guys here, so we'll do uh, we'll choose a number one through four. Two. A two? Uh -huh. And a one or a two? One. Okay. And then uh, choose a number one through three. Three. And okay, here. And choose oh oh oh, right. and choose one or two. One. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll just put it in like that. That's the way I had it. Yeah. Uh, these two we're not going to use, so I'm just going to move these guys off to the side. If you're playing with just two players, you should be playing the team version. Also, you can separate the halves of the tin. Oh, the Baron's game room is here watching us. Should, uh, I should be playing hello, the team hello. version. Let me check and read the team ver version of the game. Okay, so team battles are great for four and are highly recommended for two players. Okay. There's no special rules for a four-player team battle. However, the two-player team battle has a few things to note. When selecting your heroes, take turns selecting one hero at a time, and do not select both heroes at once. 
when you drop in, so we did that actually off, yeah. off the screen. Yeah. Um, and when you drop in, uh, taking take turns dropping in one meeple at a time and roll for each meeple. On your turn, you may split your actions between uh, your heroes. So, like, so you can go, you can pick one first. Um, There's a rogue, elementalist. I'll take the rogue, I guess. Sure. You want the rogue? Yeah. Did I? Oh, I didn't take the rogue, okay. All right, there's your rogue. So yeah. You can put that. I'll have to zoom out the camera a little bit. And I'll pick. I'll take the wizard. So I'll get the knight and the wizard. That's what's up. All right. Okay. And then now I have to add the extra. So I've got this this okay. yellow one here. I'll put myself on three. Oh, you have less health for that one. I know. <laughs> Probably very powerful. Is it mini enough for the maple melee? <laughs> you like the randomizing? I like the I like the randomizing terrain. It's kind of what I wanted to do. That'd be mm -hmm. kind of fun. All right, and I'll just go through the rules to explain. So yeah, it's, oh, we're gonna we, we selected our heroes. You know, select them both at once. We dropped in, take you know, take turns dropping one meeple at a time. Roll for each meeple. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So it'll be odd and even. Yes, yes. All right, so well, I've, we've selected our heroes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm place. We'll place the crate in teleportation. There can only be one in each pretend. Okay, oh. go ahead and set, set the... We have the crates here, and we have the teleportation circles. You yeah. can go ahead and just set them up. I, I, I trust you to be fair. Oh, I mean, you just put them... Right yeah, one in each. One over here, one over here, and then so the same the with the teleportation. So what is the terrain? Do you uh, so there's water, and then we have the trees, trees right? Yeah. So uh, the water, I believe, is when you... When you walk through it, um, you're going to be... It's going to cost you two actions of, of movement. And okay. let's see. Yeah, slow movement. Moving Ouch. from a water space counts... To, as two so it's only from not into right yeah. so if you're in it and you move that's two spaces and then the trees is you get plus one when defending against ranged attacks so if i'm hiding in the trees mm. and you shoot me with your archer i get plus one defense so when i'm rolling the dice if i roll a three yeah. i'll get a four okay let's put i guess we'll put one crate over here yep i'm putting both yeah one on each side okay and one over here in the middle kind of Okay, and then we have teleportation circles. These okay. are what are going to let us teleport from one side of the map to the other. Yeah, let's go. We can go into the trees with it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Everything you can move can into go, it's just going to be yeah. there's a cost to it. Sometimes they'll hurt you, sometimes mm -hmm. they'll help you. All right, and we're kind of in the corner there. Okay, so we've got our, we set up our board now. That's the main setup for this specific uh, version of the game. Mm, drop in once players have selected their heroes, the battlefield is ready to drop in. Starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player should roll a die. Um, so, right. now I got a, I got a two. Um, if you rolled an odd number, drop your meeple into the top shorter tin from the height of about three inches. Okay, so odd is the Same. shorter. Yes. Yeah, so we neither of us we rolled even. Mm -hmm. So you'll roll first, and I think the team method explained that as well. Yeah. It's when one you drop in, five. take turns dropping in one meeple at a time. Roll for each meeple. Okay. So you'll drop yours in first in the big one. Okay. And when you drop, ah. wherever you're closest to is where you land. So it's in the Way water the right side. there. Uh -huh. And then I will take. I'm gonna take my knight. All right. And I'm gonna drop it in. I'm gonna drop it's it. Three inches above. Right on the crate. No. Is that <laughs> also in the water? Though. It is. Ouch. That's really ah. close. That's yeah. way too close for, for my liking. Okay. All right. Roll again. A five and a four. Five. Okay, you actually getting to go to the other side. Oh, that's my rogue. Hmm. Okay. Go here. Okay, uh, so you literally landed right on a tree. Yep. It's actually not too bad, right? And then I got this one here, so this guy. I've got to get the wizard. <laughs> Let's go over here. There's a lot of water in that one here. Yeah. Okay. Phew. And I'm closest to this one. Okay, we dropped our dudes in. Um, if you aren't touching at least two spaces, you may redrop. If you knock over another meeple, simply put it back, etc., etc. Okay, and we're ready to begin taking our actions. Now, on our turn, the way it works is we have actions. And if you can see this, uh, mm -hmm. there are certain actions you can take, and I'll go through them all. Action number one is you can move. You can move up to two spaces, but you can't move diagonally. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go over a wall or on a crate or through the water, it's going to cost you both. You can also instead use a skill. Each of your characters have skills, and when you use them, uh, it'll tell you what to do, whether it be make an attack or a move or teleport or something like that. They have different types of abilities. Some of them will give you flat flasks and stuff like that, like the alchemist is kind of interesting. 
Uh, the next one is teleport. If you're on a teleportation space, you can move from there all the way across the board. It's pretty useful. Um, the other one is called rest. You can spend both of your actions for that character and you'll get a bonus one action for that character next time. And then you have actions that continue over here. Uh, you can take cover, which means you can hide behind a crate. Um, <laughs> and you can't be targeted by people on opposite sides of the wall or the crate uh, when you perform another action. Oh, until, until you perform another action. Okay. So while you're hiding, players you're have to like, totally yeah, you're hidden. Yeah. Well, not, you're totally hidden. But you're just protected from one yeah, side. You're from, like crouching under a table and the person the opposite side. Exactly, yes. exactly. And the other one is a push-pull. It reminds me of that game, um, uh, that game where you're pushing the blocks and pulling the blocks around. I don't know. But you, you're, you're, if you get next to a crate, you can push it in the direction that you want or pull it. And you'll be pulling like with your meeple. Like, you know, yeah. block mover the game. And uh, then we have abilities. So each of the characters have different abilities. Like, for instance, my wizard has evasive, which means uh, that I can move diagonally. Very nice. nice. And my knight has rush and shield, which means that I have the ability to, uh, if I use both my actions for movement, I can make a plus zero melee attack. Mm -hmm. And then my shield is I can add one to all my defense rolls. Okay. My archer has brawl and quick. So brawl, I can make a plus zero melee attack for one action. And quick... I can move three spaces. Yep. And my rogue has rush and slippery. Rush, uh, if I use both of my actions for movement, so I'm moving a bunch, I can make a zero, plus zero melee attack. And slippery, add plus two to range defense rolls. Mm hmm. All right. And All right. I think, I think I, you drop, for, I don't think it matters which one, I mean, it doesn't matter which one goes first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, starting with the first player and going clockwise, each player rolls a die. Okay, so you rolled first. And yes. You drop first. So you're the first player, so you'll get to go first. Okay. Um, I'm going to do my archer. So my archer's quick. And what we'll do is we'll move the archer just a little up to symbolize that you've used oh, it, and the other okay. one will be a little down, symbolizing you haven't oh, used it. Oh, so you one. only get two actions. You can split them or do them both on the same character, I oh. think is what he said. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Or what you said. There are no special rules. However, the two-player te team battle has a few... Uh, when you select heroes, take... When selecting your heroes, take turns mm, selecting yeah. one hero at a time. Don't select both. On your turn, you may split your actions between your heroes. Oh, on yeah. your turn, you can sl split. So you can. So you could do two actions on one or one on each, it sounds oh, like. Oh, okay. So you... Because I haven't played this version of the game. I yeah. usually play the, the more... The three- and four-player version. Uh, so I'm guessing, yeah, you could just... You can choose... But it says... Do not select both heroes at once. Oh, so you do one fully and then you can yes, go to the other one. Yes. Okay, okay. That Interesting. All right, all right. Okay. I'm definitely moving out of this water <laughs> onto land. So I have three movement. So it'll take cute. me two to get out of the water, correct? Yes. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. One, two. Oh, no, it's slippery. You can do that. <laughs> you did And right. then I have one more. I'm going to get... I have to get a little dis. I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't go to the teleport. I'll go here. Oh, you went right there. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And then I have one more action. Uh, it cost you two movement. That, that was, was three a movement. I have you... three movement. Quick. Oh. Quick. Damn. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Uh huh. And then. Ooh, should I just keep moving and getting away from here? Okay, Boy. so yeah, we're, we're correct. It doesn't matter how we split our actions at this point. Just more selecting characters. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep going this way. All right. I'm just going to move her. One, two, and three. Why are you moving all your characters away? He's going to so make that, it rather difficult yes. for me to get you. I don't I, I don't want my archer And out this costs open. two moves, right, to go over this. Oh, it does? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, the, the wall, it's like you're jumping One. over it. If I could go this way into the tree, then you can jump once. Yeah. It's one space, so these one, are all connected, but they have to go two, two spaces three, to go then. across. Okay. <sighs> now, if I'm on top of this thing, I can ignore this, though. Yes, gotcha. That's the wall. I see. Shoot. For some reason, I thought the wall was a icon or something. Hmm. Okay. You're making me have to think <laughs> now. I need my. My archer out of there. <laughs> I needed to hit him with my knight, but you made it more challenging. My wizard's across the water, which means I can't just simply get over to you. 
evasive. Evasive is going to let me move diagonally. That's very mm -hmm. useful, actually. Especially through the, you can only, you only have to go through But the water. problem is it, I have to still move, do two actions to move mm -hmm. through water. Because if I move one space in here, I have one space left, but that's not going to be enough to get through the, the, the water. So okay, I need okay. three like you had. I mean, hmm, yeah. What do I want to do then? I can move my knight, I guess. I can move my knight up here, and then I can teleport. Do I want to teleport? My knight, if I move him twice... Well, I have to move him one, two, one, and I wouldn't be able to go over there. Okay, I think I think my main move is to teleport, okay. sadly. So it's going to cost me one action to get up there. Mm -hmm. um, just because I need to be there. And then I can use the other action, which is teleport. I move my meeple from one circle to the other. All right. And I'll move my guy over here. Don't mind that. There he is. He's chilling. Okay. All right. Now I have two actions. I'm going to use my rogue... So do I have to, is it take an action to go over the crate? Is it just like a regular movement? No, so yeah, crates are the same thing as the wall. Yeah. So it tells okay, you the take movement. Okay, two to go over it. Yes, I believe so. You may move your meeple up to two spaces. They don't have to be in the same direction. You may not move diagonally unless otherwise stated. Moving over the wall or on top of a crate counts as moving two. So not on the teleporter, but it didn't matter because mm -hmm. I still had to end my movement there so I could teleport. I don't think I can... Move one space, use the teleport, and then use the other movement. Yeah. I think I, I think I lose it. Okay. Move it or lose it. Okay. Maybe I should have yeah, saved it. Maybe I should have not moved anything for a bonus action. One, two, and hmm. one, two. I think. Okay. Rogue is going after you. All right. Okay. My turn? Mm-hmm. I'm hiding in the trees. A plus two attack. Make a plus two attack against an adjacent space Ooh. and both connecting diagonals. Oh, that's nice. But I'll have to move in order to get to you. I think... Uh -huh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm going to rest him and take... Ooh. Okay. All right. So I'm just getting a... Bo I'm, I'm losing my turn, basically. Yes. And it's going to give me a plus one action to my action on the next turn. Try to make my guy... And the opposite side of this coin, by the way, is uh, going to be a... Like, it protects me from cover. Or in okay. cover. All right. My archer gonna go one, two, three for movement. Now on top of the crate. I think on top of a crate gives you some some benefit benefit as well. I believe you can shoot over here and ignore that, uh, which is pretty nice. Okay. I don't think I can. I have a range. I have different right. range depending on what I do. But if I snipe, I have range five. Which would be one, two, three, four, which would be enough. Yeah. Or five, I think, is you have to you have to count all the spaces going towards them. Yeah, I think okay. you're, I, I know you're fine either way. All right, so plus one, it's a plus one attack to snipe you. Okay, so um, right. and my knight has right. shield, which means I'm always going to get a plus one for defense for all defensive rolls. Okay. Yeah. Oh. You roll the six plus one is seven. I roll the one. I'm going to take a damage. Yes. Owie. All right. Nice archer. And your turn. Okay. Um, he's going to move his two spaces. That's my action. And then we're going to make two mighty strikes, which is a melee attack Ooh. for plus two. So I got a plus two on your rogue. Okay. I rolled a six. Six. Any bonuses for you? Uh... My rogue is slippery. No. Oh, not a range defense roll, so no. Okay, so you take a damage. Okay. And we're going to do it again, so let's check. Yeah. A Three. four. 
Oh, okay, another damage. All right. All right. Okay, I need to... My rogue can do... Has to be separate target. A melee, make a plus three attack. Um, if you're successful, you may attempt to roll a five plus. And if you do, attack deals an extra damage. Ah, if not, you miss. Okay. Let's do it. Lethal strike. Okay, so you're going to make a plus three attack. Yes. And I have a plus one. Three, four, four, and you have... Four as well. So it's a tie. We roll again. Okay. One. You five. beat me. So you're going to do damage. Or, yeah, or you can, can roll, and if you get a five or higher, you do two. I'm just going to do one damage. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to take it to chance. You don't want to push your luck? No, no. Okay. Okay. You get another and action, don't you? Yes, one more action. My Ooh, knight is... Do I want to run away or... No... Okay, I want to, yeah. Cool. Let's do lethal strike again. Oh, all right. Yeah. Might as well. A two. Three. That beats me. Would you like to two. push your luck? Ooh. You could kill Maybe. me if you actually do I it. I know. This is where it might be worth it. Okay, let's go for it. A no, three. I didn't get it. Okay, so Make sure you try and this is oh, our little sorry. rolling yeah. area. Rolling area. <laughs> okay, so you didn't do it, so you didn't do the damage to me. No. So that okay. pushes back to my turn. And now I do turn. Okay, I'm gonna move my wizard one space diagonally. Yes, yeah, so that's your two move wait, that's one movement. Yeah. I well it doesn't I can't use it can't, again. Yeah. Because if I have to move out of water, it's gonna cost me two. So that would be your other action. Do I want to I'm going to have to hit your rogue again with my mighty strike so okay. with a plus two. A four and, and a, a three. three. So I got a plus two, which is six. Okay, you hit me. My rogue's at one health. All right. Oh, no. Okay. That's I use my I use both. I move this guy. Yes. Okay. Do you, so maybe my archer's better. Oh. If I spend two actions, I can make a three plus. I'm not in the forest no. either. I need to be in the forest to yeah, defend to against, against that against archer. Range. range three. How far away are you? One, two. Okay, you're too far there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think it's how well, you add attacks. I could snipe you, but I want to get the knight down first, I think. Oh, wow. You could have sniped me. Wow, that's a long yeah, range. Yeah, I have a lot of range. Um, so we'll do... Lethal strike with the rogue first again. I'll have to get no. to the knight. A five. Five. Plus, plus one. The plus three. Oh. Okay. Would you like to go for the... No, because I did that last time. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now let's use... Let's bet... Should I run away with my rogue? <laughs> okay. Rogue's running away. You're going to run away? Yeah. All right. One, two... Can't quite take cover, but that's all right. <laughs> you turn. All right. I need to get him out of water, I, but I I that need. That will take so much movement. I have to. I have to get him on the crate. Okay. All right. That's it. It costs that's me it. two to move here, uh, and then what's my range? A range of five. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I mean, I could. Because we're on the crate, so you can attack. I could move just. I could move two spaces there. Mm -hmm. I could also move diagonally too. I guess. Do I want to do that? It's a, a ponderance for sure. Maybe I want to move diagonally. I don't know. I already took. I already yeah, took yeah. one action back. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and just you range five at plus two. Okay. Five, six, oh, plus two. Five. Okay, my archer takes the damage. Yes. Okay. All right, you're up. I'm yes. going to uh, one, two, three. Select. Okay, I'm going to do rapid fire. I'm going to do a plus zero. Wait, no, you're. Oh, this is range three. Never mind. I can't do. One, it. I have to snipe. Two, too, three, four. Too yeah. far. Okay, range. Just, you don't, my knight only has one health left. Yeah, I know. I'm going to target your knight for sure. Five, range five plus one attack. Right, knight first? Yes. Range five at a plus one? Yeah. 
I got a two plus one. Three plus one. No. Yeah, bye, nine. Okay, it's just the wizard left. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, you're in range. The wizard, attack. Plus one. Six. Five plus one is six. It's a tie. Okay. No. Six. All right, your turn. Mm. Ooh, your fireball is plus two, though. That's nice. Yeah, we're going to do a one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do a fireball twice at your archer. Okay. Five? Yeah. Uh, Serious business. Again. Oh. Ah, I keep rolling away. Ah. Okay, ready? Wah. Three. Three. Plus two? Nothing. Plus nothing? Okay, yeah. you take a damage then. Okay. What? But I I think you can still beat me. I think uh -huh. you can snipe me down. I don't have any defense. I don't have any bonuses on my defense. Okay. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do snipe first. No! Yeah. I think that's Maybe best. I should have taken cover. No! Three. Down to one health. All right. Last snipe for the win. <laughs> Oh, I, is that a plus, plus one, right? Plus one, yeah. Okay, so I need a five or a six. Yeah. Six to stop you. <laughs> you rolled in there. Four. Does it? No. Okay, both my guys only had one health left, though. My that poor really wizard, cold. Bob the yeah. wizard. <laughs> Bob the wizard. Yeah, what else would his name be? Yay. <sighs> Tiny mini yeah, super micro melee. Yeah. Third with cheering me on. Thank you. No, third. <laughs> I was supposed to win. You're supposed to look for me. Jeez. Well, yeah. that's a good evening, one to one. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking I might do. Well, I, I think my wizard being out of place did not help. And then yeah, you moved you were, your rogue away you from across, my knight. Your wizard was like, I'm gonna be across the river doing stuff. If, if you're, if you're. I made I mistakes. Strategically retreated. You made a strate yeah, strategic retreat. Running away. <laughs> All right. We call it a draw. Come, Patsy. Oh, oh, I see. Running away. And your knight was like, I'll oh, keep fighting. I know. He just, well, I should have, I should have used my scratch. knight. I could have ran to your rogue and killed him, but I was too nervous about, because my wizard, mm -hmm. need, I wanted to, I, didn't, I guess I didn't need to be on that crate. I guess that had enough range. But I wanted to get my wizard. He has a pyroblast yeah. that kind of goes around him. Oh, so I could have to try to I get both of them. I could have walked on that tree area, uh -huh. protection of from one, from, from your range. range, and I could do damage to mm -hmm. all around the space. Uh, but I couldn't get there. I didn't have enough yeah. movement. Uh, so what would you think? Yeah, it's uh, really cute. Definitely very tiny. So uh, Definitely, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is, it is called kinda... mini meeple yeah, melee, yeah, so yeah. Um, do you need tiny... Yeah, yeah. I think it's... Oh, look, I have fat, people look, like I have fat <laughs> fingers. <laughs> I have fat fingers, and uh -huh. I was able to make the little guys move around. It's actually not 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 so bad, because no. all you're needing to move, actually, is just... Everything is, holds in place, too. Because mm -hmm. like, the magnets, so it's really nice in that way. Look, yeah. look at this. I love that. There, there's there's <laughs> the um, the Billy Mays uh, treatment, where it's like, let me show you how the product works. How you can... Not destroy it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if I should like shake this too no. hard, but I feel like you know it's not, pretty good. Yeah. I don't think I have to work. Actually, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> test. I'm not gonna test my luck, but yeah. It, but it, yeah, you can just throw it in a bag. Take it. My other you, question is: there's two little extra plane. magnets. Is there something nope. I'm missing? Is there a character I didn't play with that has these little bonus? Maybe or they're just maybe just get bonus maybe they maybe they go in the corner to like type materials. Who knows? Maybe oh, they help. Hold it in, maybe. Hold the map in. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, also, I was playing with all the different characters from the expansion yeah. as well. Uh, the, uh, speaking of the expansion, there is an expansion to the game. Or I don't know if it's an expansion. It's an ex it's a standalone expansion. You can yeah. play with this all by itself. I kind of mixed it all together because we were playing with all the different ones uh, previously with Alicia and all them. But it gives you additional teleportation spaces. You can actually make a map that fits. Oh, all four. All four, yeah. So you can ah. put it like you can put it just like this, or I mean, I guess like this. I mean, I, I think That's really, smart, yeah. I don't think there's really any. I mean, there is Ooh. rules, but I don't think there's any like da dangerous Ooh. like. We got yeah, fire there's fire. In the forest. So you can start adding oh. those guys. Let me guess. Do you take damage from the fire? Uh yes, you do. Ah. Yes. 
There's, you, can, you can take damage from the fire, yes. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer live stream playthrough of Mini Meeple, May <laughs> Mini Meeple Melee and Iconoclash. You can check out both of these games on Kickstarter right now. Links in the description below. And while you're down there, hit that like button, that subscribe, and that bell notification. Thank you so much. And if you're around somewhere else on the universe, check us out on filteredgamer.com for blog reviews as well as our video reviews and uh, giveaways and fun stuff on there. Uh, yes, Dante, we're, we're almost ready here. And join us live as we play games just like these every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook and on Twitch now. I hope to see you there and Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you next time.